Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel in this part five of our saga, Age of Magic, eight point community challenge. And today I'm joined by Jamie. Hello. And today Jamie's gonna be showing off his eight point force that he's been building for this eight point community challenge. And I have to say, it looks absolutely stunning. Along with Mel's, if you haven't seen Mel's uh, finished showcase, that's the previous video, just go back through the playlist at the end of the, uh, on the end of this video and uh, check it out. It's a superb looking sort of Night Haunts army. Very ethereal looking army that uh, she's done there. Yeah, very but, good. Yeah, I mean, Jamie, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with this army and that. And I was done if I want to talk to the viewers and sort of tell them what you've done and, and, and obviously what's in the army to start yeah. with. Okay, well, I had a week off on uh, work on holiday and I thought, well, what a better time to crack on with it. So, my army is a Great Kingdoms army, it's a very human esque force. Um, I wanted to build up my Six of Sigma. I had a load of grey plastic boxes and my pile of shame. And I thought, <laughs> definitely all <laughs> oh, got one of them. So I thought, well, let's crack on with some of that while I've got this week off and get ready for the challenge. So, uh, like we said in our previous video, I'll take you through what I've got. So to begin with, we have the leader on horseback. This is the old Leopold the Black figure that Forge World used to That's do. the resin model, isn't it? The old resin model, yeah. which they don't do anymore because you're not allowed to take anybody, any generals on a horse anymore, which is stupid. Yeah, it's a bit daft. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have our Sorcerer on horse. Now, he's actually the Battle Mage from the battle, uh, the Griffin kit. I've, what I've done is I've taken an old Bretonian horse, uh, green stuff to saddle on there, add a few bits to him, just to make him a bit different. Again, just to make them look... Got some nice. purity seals from yeah, the 40k kit. Yeah, some Space kit. Marine purity seals. But... <laughs> it looks quite good with scrolls and yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, all the horrible spells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we've got a unit of warriors. These are uh, my eight warriors in the unit. Now, again, this has the Forge World Empire Command they used to do in there. Just, I think, there's some beautiful sculpts. I've always liked some of the Empire yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's some lovely stuff, didn't they? Yeah. yeah, the banner bearer there and the leader on the front yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Next up, we then have a six-man levy unit. These are my hand gunners. Now, the reason why they're only six men instead of 12 is because I've put in an artillery piece on the end here, as you can see, my volley gun, which will probably play as a cannon or something. And also, they come as a unit of 10 in Age of Magic. So, in, yeah. yeah, it's a, yeah sorry, so, Age of Saga, sorry. Sorry, um, Age of Sigma. Age of Sigma, yeah. It's going to be ages. <laughs> it did take you ages. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so you buy them in box of 10. I only have one box of 10, so I thought, well, it's ideal to drop the six. I did do up the rest of the unit, but I thought, well, might as well drop the six instead of buying another box. Got this artillery piece, put it in there. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just going to look all right. Yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah. Next up, we have my creatures. I've actually taken two Iron Guts from Games Workshop to make them ogres, so it's still like humanoid-esque field. Mine. They're not yours, I bought that box. You've already taken the other two that come in the box. I have, actually. He's right, I have. <laughs> <laughs> but I've taken all the good components from it. Um, so yeah, they're my two creatures. As I said, the, I think I was almost getting like Slasher and the Butcher sort of thing, mm. all little nicknames. Um, and then next up, we have the bulk of the army. As you can quite clearly see, Three units of mounted half guard on quadrupedes. They're the demigriff knights the Games Workshop do. Always been a favourite of mine. Yeah, I love figures. them. And well, they've stood the test of time clearly by yeah, now, yeah. so it must be good. And finally, the centerpiece you can see this is my Scourge. He's the general on Griffin that Games Workshop do. Uh, well, Carl Franz. This be Carl Franz, isn't it? Well, yeah. obviously, we don't have named characters anymore. <laughs> but I'm really pleased the way it came out. So, first. And, Part of the week just building it up and then the rest of it painting it main techniques i've used were i've used contrast a lot i will admit uh, um, i think that's come out very well on on, on the old uh, scourge there contrast paints i think if used on the right things can work and it's mm. knowing your spray paints to use to your yeah. thing because they do two contrasting paints and i when i did some chaos figures i used the warmer one the wraith bone Absolutely, for yeah. black on it and i found i had to do two coats whereas i think if i do grace here for the rest of it it will only take one coat yeah so yeah to get some more of it out and i think that's i think the contrast works really well as long as you know which ones to use i've seen people and, and other people's videos using contrast where they actually have they've actually more blended more with yes contrast exactly yeah. i think it's certainly just an open scope and also it speeds up your painting i find yeah, yeah, a lot because yeah. you're doing your base paint and your shade near i mean to knock the these time. out in sort of just over a week and that it was i thought was very good exactly with the basing as well i might so it's going to the theme with the basing and as you can see with the castle and the yeah. rocks and the snow 
I obviously this was originally my Cities of Sigmar and my Empire army for Age of Sigmar, which is also handy because third edition's coming out, so <laughs> I will be finishing off the rest of the army now. Um, so my th- theory was, I like the Tempest Eye the yep. city, yep. and I'm reading up on them. I think the ki- they are the lords under the mountains. They- so some of my other cavalry I've got, they've got wolf pelts on, so you know that sort of wolfiness in the mountains. Yeah. Um, so I really love that theme that's sort of high up in the mountains so I might get a phoenix for them or something like that cool. something yeah, really different, cool. a bit different yeah. obviously a frost one because yeah. of the snow and that's what I wanted to go for and I love that sort of blue and white so a lot of the things you see is very golds and yeah. or reds and whites I thought I want to do something a bit different of a bigger contrast between like you say with the white with the snowy background exactly and, and then yeah, the yeah. bright blue Blues, yeah. and as you can probably t- like if you've seen our Lord of the Rings game our Pelennor Fields we've done you know I had a Dol Amroth army now you can kind of see where my theme has come from for these yeah. <laughs> but I'm just really happy the way it came out which is and the actual rocks on the bases, that's actual stones from the garden, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on all the figures, is it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, one. They are quite weighty in that many <laughs> on there. That's the other day when you came home, you realised there was no rocks in the garden. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> gaps, I think you see where somebody's been peering through. Yeah. yeah. It might have been me. <laughs> but no, I'm really pleased the way it came out and just to say to get it done in a week it means. I've got to get the rest of the army done next week, and it next week off. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll get mine done. <laughs> well, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Though. Thanks for that, Jamie. I mean, brilliant. I mean, what do you think, guys? I think this is this is a superb looking force. Um, not just for Saga Age of Magic, but certainly the starters there for the new version three of the uh, Age of Sigmar. A few nice things in there I've noticed as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I think like I, say, I think Jamie's done a fantastic job and that and Mel as well with her night haunts done a superb job um, like I said in the last video we are going to try and get a third one done it probably won't be on the deadline it's now going to be after with both all of our work commitments and that and one of courses at the moment galore for the next two months so um, so time constraints has really really put us back you should so, be painting on your courses I wish I could mate I really <laughs> wish I could <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but um but yeah so but we've got two forces done so hopefully we'll get some games on the channel soon if that's what you want to see let us know in the comments below but until next time guys stay tuned to after this video we're going to put a montage together like we've done with mel's video showing you all the units and that in the army but until then guys until this next video please stay safe and happy wargaming